Welcome back to Fallout 4 Mods. My name is Ricky and this is Zelda. And uh, we've come back to the Biocube to finish up the quest for those nice aliens and also potentially see about maybe other things that might be still here. Because I just read online that there are a lot more weapons than I've found. Because literally the only weapon i found is the broken hunting rifle. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, so here's the thing before we get too far into it. I thought that you had to leave the biocube to finish up this quest for the aliens. You don't. It's pointing me to the station itself. So that's where we're going in. We're going into old world radio. Better radio, better world. Also, for some reason, this microphone is just a lot louder than normal. And I don't know why. So I don't know how well it's going to be. Oh, you. Okay. Deep range transmitter. Um... So, okay, that was easy enough. I really should have just searched them. That would have been a smarter thing to do. Okay, so... Oh, crap. Okay, never mind. I was just gonna start talking. Uh, I still think I will. I'm gonna tell you about, um... Get over here, you stupid scent. Um... So, uh... <laughs> after coming back from the... After coming back from, or in attempting to get back into the biocube from the Commonwealth, I went back through the vault. Guess what happened when I went back through the vault? I'll give you a hint. Literally everything respawned. Hello. Everything respawned. Hello. I mean, oh, there. There's no way you should be as accurate as you are, is what I'm saying. Everything respawned. Everything, including the uh, intelligence bobblehead that I did not pick up a second time. I didn't really want to pick it up the first time, but I wasn't paying attention to what the bobblehead was because I didn't know it was going to be another special one. I mean, I don't mind it. If I, I just, if I had known, I wouldn't have picked it up is all I'm saying. Um, no, I want to shoot it in the head. Use one of my criticals. Um, and so, other than the fact that everything, literally everything respawned, it was fine going back through the, through the vault. I didn't want to use the console to, to come back into it, but I also found a holotape that I had missed the first time. Over the course of this mod, I found these Section 9 holotapes. Uh, the first one was before you got into the vault, and I haven't listened to it yet, so we're going to listen to it right now. Expedition date, March 3rd, 2284. My second uh, mission outside of Cravista. Our courses have located an unknown low-band radio signal emitting from the glowing sea. Due to the radiation, this is as close as we could pinpoint. Especially since it's under an old reactor site. We are continuing through the facilities down here. It appears that there were inhabitants. Danny, and Jay, and some others that are unnamed. Uh, apparently, Jay went above the surface not long after the bombs fell. <laughs> Must be a real genius. Learning the untold stories of the past is always so interesting. Anyways, we're moving ahead. Okay, see now, had I found that, it would have been way more clear as to what was going on with the whole Institute thing. Institute angle. And Grace, knowing who Grace was. This, apparently this quest took place about three years ago. A little over three years ago at this point. Um, so, I really wish I had found that. Legendary Festering Bloatfly. yippee ki -yay. I don't know why it wasn't moving. But there you go. There we go. All right. Now, which one of you was the legendary? Which chunk was the legendary? No. Ah. Aha. In. Ooh. Oh, an enraging combat knife. Oh. Combat knives are. Oh, they can be pretty. I mean, with the right perks and the right. The right perks and the right special and the right everything. 
um, they just become crazy, crazy powerful. I know because I've done a combat knife run in this game. So uh, apparently there are a bunch. A bu there are several weapons that I'm missing. I don't know. I, I think, I think, I think that th I'm about to get the Fire Lance, but I don't know that for a fact. Because this whole mod was designed, according to the, the, the guy who created it, was designed to, to, for people to be able to get the Fire Lance and morph into this massive thing, which... I mean, I'll be honest with you, this has been really fun. Oh, crap. No! More Section 9 synths showed up? Did this place just respawn because I left? Because sometimes that happens. I'm not going to hit either of those guys. Merry Christmas! That was a baseball grenade. Not what I wanted to throw. Okay, I got to get closer. Now that I'm closer... I should be able to take you out a little bit better. Torso. Torso, torso. You're too far away. No, that was 90... 95%. 95%. 95%. Go. I think I just got a bunch of... Bunch of stuff back. Okay. Oh, you did not get... Really? Ooh. Ooh, they just took out that dude. I don't know why the synths are headed over there. Also, apparently I didn't get that kill. That's un depressing. Oh, good. Okay. This one is just swimming in the water. You, you get out of the water, you stupid synth. I don't think... I don't think they realize they're like... I don't know. This happened last time I was here, too. That was sweet. You, alien guy who isn't voiced. The alien notices you have the transmitter. The alien is pleased. The deep brain transmitter will allow it to communicate with the mothership in orbit. You don't have the option to question. The alien hands you a weapon in exchange for the DRT. Cool. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yes! The Fire Lance. Holy cow, look how powerful it is. 176 and 176. I'm glad it's a pistol, because that's what uh, Zelda is. She's a pistol user. All right, let's pull out the Fire Lance. I kind of want to find a place to use it. You know? Okay, how do I get out of here? All right, let's see what we can do to it. I mean, I can't do anything to it right now, but let's see what we can do to the Fire Lance. Um, so we have the automatic barrel. Uh, superior rate of fire, improved damage. Uh, Framethrower conversion recommended not to attach a particle splitter. This looks like it turns it into almost a, a rifle, but it's still not. Exceptional damage, superior range, worse recoil, poor ammo capacity, and hip fire. Standard barrel, and then long barrel. Uh, of course, I can't turn any of this into anything else because uh, I don't have any of these ranks of science. Also, I don't have any of that stuff. I mean, I probably have all of that back at home plate, but uh, grips. Oh, it can be turned into a rifle, though. Interesting. Okay. Diffuser. Splits particle laser and multiple projectiles covering a wide range. Poor range, accuracy and range. Okay, so it makes it like a shotgun. Ah! Wow, that is a significant drop. Also, I have a lot less fusion cells than I do the Fire Lance stuff. There's a lot of Fire Lance ammo all over the vault. Okay, so I've come back up here because there is something that's this way that I haven't gotten to yet. See, I, I went to this uh, Northern Avery Peninsula thing. Um... That's where I ran into a bunch of section, section 9 synths. Um, but I didn't go anywhere else up on this northern area of the uh, map. So we're going to explore that and see if maybe up here is where I can find. Um, Alright, well, scavenger it is. This feels like just as good a place as any to test this... Uh, you know? Test the fire lance. Wow, I... Right here. There. You can have that. I broke that person's leg, so we're good on that. You're the person whose leg I broke. Who is still succumbing to fire damage. 
Okay, look, scavengers. Kind of like this this gun. I mean, I don't like it more than the uh, than buddy system for uh, Colt Python, but I'm digging it nonetheless. I'm still digging it. Yes, let's explore the houses because I might find some more lore about this place. Potentially find the other weapons. Ooh. And maybe more Nuka Cola Constant, which I dumped a bunch at home plate. I had a ton. Like, way too many. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yes! Sweet. More Section 9 holotapes. I believe this will be my final recording as we're on our way out. Interesting place. Despite it being so much smaller than, say, the Commonwealth, it developed just the same over the past 207 years. Huh. I just wish the synths around me would ask questions first and shoot later. I'll have to think on this. Back to Cravista! What is Cravista? She mentioned that in the first one, too. I think the school shape is this building right here. I think this must be a school that was probably built. Suffolk Charter. Why is this place called Suffolk Charter? Hey, the back bit's glowing. I just saw that. It's hard to see it. Why is there a school bus? Why is that dead body floating? There's just so many questions I'm ha asking right now. I don't know if I'll ever get any answers. I mean, I know why the dead body's floating. It didn't render in the right spot. Oh, come on! Ooh. With a I, I will say this. This is a lot more powerful than the um, Python. That was an explosion. Stop running from me! It is unbecoming. Of a synth. Yeah, this thing is way more powerful. I don't have nearly as much ammo, but it is way more powerful. It wouldn't be if I was using fusion cells, though. Aha! You seem to be the only one in here. Oh, and I leveled up. So, real fast, I'm going to level up. Um... Oh, yes, 198, 198. So now this is just gonna just take them out one by one. Um, so there wasn't some, there wasn't so much in the uh, school, lore-wise. I was kind of hoping to find some more lore stuff, but yeah, looks like a police station or something. Also, something else that doesn't look like I found the forest. I thought I'd already found that forest. Um, I don't think it's talking about that one yet. Okay. This place is really jam-packed. Like, I, I, I guess I just never really paid attention to it, but... When I was looking at the map. But there's a lot of stuff to do here. Let's just hope that no one's going to try and kill me up here. There's a Gutsy. Legendary Mr. Gutsy. Alright, Legendary Mr. Gutsy. Let's do battle. North Farragut checkpoint. Why was there a military here, by the way? It doesn't make... Holy cow! Look at that AP cost for this thing. This is just a stupid overpowered weapon. I definitely will not be using Mutant Slayer's... Mutant Slayer's Fat Man! <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, oh, that is, that is, that is just... Ah, uh, you just can't ask for something better than that, in my opinion. All right, that thing blew up. Mutant Slayer's fat man. I'm not sure I've ever gotten a legendary drop. A legendary fat man drop. Um, like there is a... There, are le there is a, a unique fat man. Um, the big boy. I think that's what it's called. Um, but yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten a legend. You know what? I bet I have at some point. Ray's Maze. So this is Ray's Maze. R-E-Y, like the character from Force Awakens. But I don't see where the entrance to it is. That's where I fought a bunch of synths. Um, is it doing that haze thing? Or is this just what happens when you get over here? 
Where's the entrance to this maze? Ah, okay. This is what I missed. Okay. Weapon of fire detected. Oh, so the red thing that I saw a minute ago was definitely a thing. So I guess we're going through a maze. This doesn't seem like the way to go. This seems like a dead end. You know, the last maze in a video game that I was in, I cheated and just climbed to the top and fought a bunch of guardians. I just want to point out that I'm already lost. Still lost. I think I've already been this way. Yeah, I hope no one comes here for a walkthrough of how to get through this maze, because you won't. This is not a walkthrough. Do not use this to get through this maze. Okay, now I'm in a new section of the maze. I don't know if I'm supposed to have come over into this section. Or if this is just a dead end. I definitely recommend using the mini map. The, 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 the local map. The no, 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 no. I want to stay in this section. Wait. Wait. There's a bunch, this is different. There's a bunch of dead skeletons. So maybe I'm in the right spot. Uh, hello. Okay. Did that death claw just jump from the thing and then die? How did I get in here? Is there supposed to be something in here? I could have sworn I came through this thing right here and now I can't get back out. Okay, I just found another death claw. I've decided to kill it. Holy crap, I've decided I don't want to kill it. Where is the belly? Okay. By the way, I'm floating in midair because I turned off clipping. I'm not 100% certain uh, what the point of this maze is, but also I don't really know because I was in this, this central area. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I got in here, but... Like... A second ago when I was here, this was all blocked off and now it's not. Like this, this right here was blocked off. There was clearly supposed to be. And this was all blocked off and now I'm coming up here to the top up here. And I get a lucky rapid grazier pistol. Critical shots do double damage and critical. Yeah, I know what lucky is. And I think this is where I was supposed to go after that area. But I think that that death claw was supposed to spawn into that little like arena circle thing and it didn't so i don't feel like i cheated in any way shape or form um because i found my way into that area and then uh yeah all right well that was let's look at the weapon and i wonder if the uh the the legendary thing is uh just varies Ooh, don't like that I don't like rapid fire weapons, not in this game. The only thing I have left to do that I feel like I have to do in this in this mod is find the rest of the section nine holotapes. And I have three left. I thought I had more. Um, but I went back to um home plate and I checked and I only have three. So I'm missing five, seven, and eight. So we're gonna go find them. Five is over here somewhere. I did actually come in here and investigate this area. So it's in one of these two things. I mean, I did, but I didn't. See? Right there. Yeah, Section 9 holotape. That was not what I meant to do. We've traced the source of the signal to a cave. Due to the nature of this biocube, the signal was easily being reflected across the expanse from the border of the dome to the other side. Like a gun going off inside a bulletproof room, the signal was being amplified creating a uh, feedback effect as it jumped from wall to wall. The cave, it's just up ahead. We set up camp over here as the cave is underwater and the fake sun is setting. We'll get to it in the morning. Well, once the other parties have since check in, of course. Basically, these, um, these holotapes are very interesting. It's probably my favorite part of this mod, which has been quite good. Um, because the idea of this section nine, this, this, this section of the Institute that 
um, was sort of, you know, sent here to investigate this thing. I think it's really fascinating. Oh, Marlurks, Marlurks. Eventually that one should turn around. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna eliminate all of these in one shot with my fire lance. No, I'm just gonna miss that one. Yikes. That was a little tougher than I thought. I really like the fire lance. This would have been great for my uh, energy weapons playthrough that I did. All right, so here's the next one. Here's in this place. I haven't been to this place before. Just some combat knives were in this dude. Uh, there's a cooking station that's not functional. There's a bed here that is functional. That's good news. Um, but this is what we came for. So far from what I've noticed, the population of the cube has become savages that have split into various groups. Pretty much the same as Crevisto or the Commonwealth. Lots of familiar groups here. I'm just glad to have some synths with me going to check out a small town up ahead so the next one appears to be up here a bit just a bit according to um, the internet because I've looked up where the last three were um, I think it's up here but it may not be that's not the button I wanted to hit yeah uh, it's in that house right there um, I will say this yeah, I, I mean, it's very interesting, these uh, synths that just, they showed up, they went rogue. Um, Grace left, but the synths stayed. The town had some inhabitants, mostly peaceful. A group of them seemed to know what the synths were, and started fighting back. They were driven out of town. I'm not proud of it. I'm just glad no one got killed. Their leader was smart. Sadly, he just wasn't prepared enough. I'm not surprised. How much preparing can you do with such limited resources? That building way up in the center of the cube looks enticing. Yeah, it does. I found a, another holotip there. See, now I kind of wish I'd found them in order. Because the story makes a lot more sense when you find them in order, when you think about them in order. I'm not going to play them in order or anything. So that was Xander's aid. There are still a few weapons and a few quests to do, but I uh, don't think I'm going to do them, at least not now. We might come back as like a bonus episode later, but definitely not now. But we did get the Fire Lance, which I love. We did get some rapid fire pistol after going through a maze. And I think that that uh, Deathclaw was supposed to spawn inside that little arena type thing. And I was supposed to kill it, the second one, that I did end up killing, but I had the clip to get to because when I killed that Deathclaw, the thing let me leave the maze, so... As far as uh, mods go, if you're looking to play a story mod, I cannot recommend Xander's Aid more because it was so much better. I should have played it first. Should never have played Tales of the Commonwealth. It wasn't interesting at all, but T uh, Xander's Aid, man, it should be the number one recommended on Bethesda and the Nexus. It was that good. I, I rank it up there with Far Harbor and World as some of the favorite Fallout stuff that I've had, and it's you know, a mod. Also, Fallout 4 is going to take just a quick, short, like, three-week break while we do something slightly different. Still Fallout-related, but not Fallout 4, and then we'll come back and we'll do some more stuff, and I'll explain more about it next week. This has been Fallout 4 Mods. Thank you for watching. Come back soon for more Fallout 4.